In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import graphics in a LaTeX document. We will make use of the GraphicX package, and I'll show you how to use the use package command. We will use figure and center environments, and also we will use the caption and label commands, as well as the include graphics command. Here is a LaTeX document that I've prepared. It is equivalent to the Hello World document the very basic document that I started this tutorial series with. This document is saved in this graphics folder here. This graphics folder contains the LaTeX document itself, a picture that we're going to import, and it contains the PowerPoint that I used to create this presentation. So let's begin by compiling the document as it is. It's just the simple hello world document file that we had from before. I'll close this. TechShop does a few nice things for us, so I'm going to open up a few new lines and then I'm going to go to the Macros button here and I'm going to click on Figures Regular. TechShop has inserted this text here, so it's given me a figure environment with the begin and end figure, and within that is a center environment in which objects and text become centered. There's also a caption and a label that are inside the center environment. These brackets give options for the figure environment and these options are HTBP for here, top of page, bottom of page, and top of next page. These are preferences given for the placement of this figure as it's going to fit into our document. So I like to provide delimiters just to highlight and set apart the figure from the rest of the text. It helps me uh, know where to edit when I want to edit things. And now we need the include graphics command. Now we need to specify the file that contains the image and since it is in the same folder as the document itself, we can simply type the name of the file. So the name of the file is this. And as I compile this, we're going to get an error. I didn't get an output, but there's a error in the console. It says undefined control sequence at line 10. Line 10 is the include graphics command. What's going on here is that this document doesn't have all the functionality that it needs to include the graphics. So what we have to do is we have to add that functionality and we do so by going up to the preamble and we use the use package command. The use package command is very very powerful because it enables you to add all sorts of functionality to a LaTeX document. So the functionality we need to add is the graphics X package and this will enable us to compile a document. So here's the new compiled document. The first page is hello world just like before but there's a new page and it has this picture in it. Now you might notice that the picture is way too big for this page so what I'm going to do is add some options to this include graphics command. Options come in via brackets and what I can do is specify the width and it'll adjust the height automatically so if I type width equals 5.5 inches and then I compile this there's my picture notice that it has a caption that says default because that's what TechShop gave me as the default caption there's a default label and we'll make use of those. So let's change the label to fig colon nice pick and the caption. And it's poor form to have a figure without an explicit reference to it in the text. And we use the reference command and we give it the label that we defined for the picture. I'll compile this twice to get things right and there's my text with the reference to the figure 
and the figure itself. I'm just going to note here other types of file that are readily supported. I don't know how well EPS works on Windows machines, but EPS is lossless and this is how I generate many of my really high quality graphics on Mac. PDF, TIFF, BMP, let's also add PNG, uh, and many others are also supported. I hope this helped. This was adding graphics in LaTeX. These are the, some of the topics we discussed here. Future tutorials will include a tutorial or two on Lix, a user-friendly program for editing LaTeX documents and making LaTeX documents. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, or share the channel and video.